Hello brothers and sisters. So Japan and the EU have opposed the United States plan for the G7 to ban all exports to Russia. Japan and the European Union have reportedly opposed the proposal by the group of seven nations to ban all exports to Russia, a move that would be aimed at boosting support for Ukraine ahead of next month's G7 Hiroshima summit. The proposal made by the US would ban nearly all items from being exported to Russia with exceptions including agriculture and medical products. Representatives from Japan and the EU said the move would not be realistic. A total ban is unlikely to be agreed upon, said James D.J. Brown, a professor of political science. Brown said the reasons for opposition to the proposal differ between Japan and the EU, with the former focused on energy supplies and the latter on exports. Many EU nations export large quantities of goods to Russia and new limits would have severe repercussions on their economies. This is what they're not thinking about when they make sweeping statements like let's ban everything to Russia. There goes your economy. Boom. Does Russia have a problem? No. She starts selling her stuff to BRICS nations, including the multiple 20 plus nations that are all desperate to join. Plus all the other countries, if you watch that video of mine, that are having trading situations with Russia. Russia's not phased. She'll just carry on. She'll spread her wealth and her stuff into different directions. She's already working with China on a plan to completely replace the dollar and to move on to other things. So who's losing? And this is what Japan and the EU is now starting to realize. You cannot just freeze them out because now you're attacking your own economy at the same time. This is not a we're not going to play with that person on the playground situation. It is way more complex than that. But what this also shows is the growing rift between the US and its policies that it's trying to force down and the EU, Europe, Japan, other countries that are starting to step back and say, no, no, wait, we don't agree. Maybe we do our thing and you do your thing. And this is a huge change from the past and the way things used to be. It's almost an isolation building on the one country that was all over the world. We keep watching and we keep waiting for our blessed hope. Keep looking up. Shalom.